Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty I patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. Now, we tried to report this yesterday, but we had technical to, uh, difficulties yesterday Yesterday because of the mics went out. It was, a, it was a problem, but we were talking about Usher. Now, of course, Usher's performing at the Super Bowl this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlemagne's Dallas Cowboys won't be there. Our and producer, neither will your New York Giants. I done told you you got to shut up. won't be there. Like, you, neither will your New York Giants. You are really delusional. You lack self-awareness. I hope you know that. Like I said, <laughs> I hope you know that Charlemagne's Dallas. I never like, thought my Dallas, my, my, my Giants was going to be there. That's I, your fault for not I having no optimism. That. No, I knew the truth. And you should have known the truth, too. No, but anyway, why? we was 12 and 5. But did you make we, it? We made it to the playoffs. You say it every year, though. If you get into the playoffs, you have an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. You Your team didn't even make year. the playoffs. You say it every Y'all year. Y'all started rooting for that guy because his name was DeVito, and he had a a, 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 a agent that y'all thought was cool. <laughs> Yo. Tommy DeVito, you talking about? Whatever. I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, as I was saying, uh, the Super Bowl this year, they, uh, Good Morning America spoke to Usher about his performance and uh, the fact that he's getting ready and if he ever thought about this before. Nine number one singles, over 80 million records sold Legend. worldwide. Legend. How do you possibly pack that into 13 minutes? Where do you start? I'll try to get back as far as I can and go back to the first album if I could, but you know, it's literally 13 <clears throat> minutes. I think I just started by making certain that um, my kids approved. I got my portion of it for, yeah. for the, you know, for the, the 30 and up, I got them. Yeah. But for my youngins, you know, I'm, I'm asking on uh, Cinco and Naveed, I'm taking notes. Mm-hmm. They've been like taking conference calls with my entire team, <laughs> giving notes. When did you start rehearsing for the show? Actually, you know what? I'm playing the Super Bowl the first time as a support uh, for the Black Eyed Peas. Since that day, I think I, I had it in my mind that I wanted to go back to the stage. Usher, what is your favorite song to perform and why is it Yeah? Who said it was Yeah? I mean, I said it was Yeah. Because... You think it's oh, your favorite song is Yeah? <laughs> Listen, man, legend. That was Kelly Carter, by the way. Salute to Kelly Carter. Carter. Drop on the clues bombs for Usher, man. Mm-hmm. Legend. What a bomb! This, this is a celebration of black music. It's a celebration of culture. This is Usher getting his flowers on the highest level. Absolutely. Like, we've been on a journey with Usher <laughs> since day one, right? Like, you remember mm-hmm. the first time you seen Usher in a music video? Mm-hmm. How, that had to be like 25 years ago, right? At least. Yeah. Because Confessions is 20. Yeah. I think Confessions, am I tripping? Yeah, Confessions came out in 2004. But mm-hmm. so Confessions turns 20 this year. So I should have been around for at least 25 years. Absolutely. At least. I'm excited to see him at oh the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. Cannot wait. Bring the stripper poles to the Super Bowl, Usher. If you've been to Usher's Vegas residency, you know how it goes when he brings the stripper poles out. The girls probably can't be dressed the way they dressed in Vegas, but you got to bring them stripper poles to the Super Bowl stage. That's right. Well, salute to Usher. And also salute to Ice Cube. He received a Basketball Hall of Fame award named after him. Basketball. With six, rap star, film producer, actor, entrepreneur, and Big Three Basketball League co-founder Ice Cube was in Springfield today. The artist received the inaugural Ice Cube Impact Award. The award recognizes Ice Cube's remarkable contributions to basketball and his commitment to fostering dialogues on inclusivity and equal opportunity. So it's an award that we, you know, I, I get the first one, but we're going to give it out every year to people who've made a positive impact using the game of basketball. So I'm out here because, uh, you know, it's a huge honor for me and it's great to be able to to interact with the community as well. I love it. Drop on the clues, Monster Ice Cube. I'm shocked the NBA hasn't bought uh, the Big Three yet. Me too. Only because, like, the Big Three scratches out the lifespan of, like, some of their greatest players. Like, think about a Big Three uh, game at the all, all, All-Star Weekend. Right. You know, where you go, you can go get the... Tracy McGrady's and Allen Iverson's and you know Kevin Garnett, Carmelo and, Anthony, yeah, the Carmelo Anthony's. They playing against each other. Like I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shocked they haven't uh, bought the big three. But it also gives players an opportunity who are in the league that think they can still play to show that they still can Absolutely. play. You know, uh, outside of the G League so. and people we still want to see, right? You know, there's people we still want to see. There's people that just you know hung it up like like a Carmelo. You still would want to see him out there. Absolutely. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm sure they will. At Absolutely. some point, but All I'm just right. shocked they haven't already. All right, and that is the price is only going to keep going up. Well, I mean for the big three. Yes. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, man. That is your rumor report. Now, who are you giving that donkey to? Oh man, I need uh, Nikki Haley to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with her. Okay, we'll yes. get into that next. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.